Once upon a time, in a world shaped by the profound ideas of the great German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, everyone had the potential for greatness. However, Nietzsche believed that this potential was often wasted by most people due to their own laziness. The philosopher warned that statistically speaking, most people will succumb to the common path and let their laziness be the architect of their downfall. In the serenity of untimely meditations, Nietzsche considers the great thinkers contempt for human beings, especially their penchant for laziness. He believed that laziness was the culprit in creating individuals who resembled factory products insignificant, lacking consequences, and unworthy of association or instruction. Nietzsche proposed a remedy. Those who wish to rise above the mediocre masses need to stop looking down on life. They are urged to follow their conscience and be themselves, recognizing that what they do, think and desire is not their true nature. The philosopher's fear resonates with his concern about humanity becoming the last man alive. As Nietzsche envisioned, this last man has become so addicted to comfort and laziness that progress itself has become an onerous task. Even in Thus Spake Sorofdesto, Nietzsche depicts a society where work becomes a form of entertainment, but the last person makes sure that this entertainment does not exhaust them. Wealth and poverty become burdens. D domination and obedience are burdens. Anything that requires effort is considered a burden by a, the threat of being the last of those obsessed with comfort. Leisure and entertainment haunted Nietzsche. He foresaw a world where progress would be seen as a burden due to an excessive love of pleasure and comfort. Aesop's cautionary tale of the grasshopper further illustrates this eternal condition of humanity. Grasshoppers basked in the joy of summer and laughed at the hard-working ants. When winter comes, the ill-prepared grasshoppers have to turn to the ants for help. The story echoes Nietzsche's concerns, painting a picture of individuals sacrificing their future for immediate pleasure and comfort. Nietzsche advocated avoiding the pursuit of happiness and comfort as the highest value, because such pursuits can lead to laziness and ultimately the sacrifice of one's future. He believes that only by recognizing the importance of productivity can laziness be eradicated. Just like squirrels gather nuts in the summer to prepare for winter, it, it's important to recognize the cyclical nature of life. However, Nietzsche also warned against the other extreme, servility. A Brazilian story illustrates the folly of blind progress and overwork. A fisherman, content with his life, is urged by a businessman to think further, hire others, and build wealth. However, fishermen question the purpose of this ruthless progress. The story emphasizes the need to strike a balance between laziness and servility, advocating for joyful productivity. As Nietzsche envisioned it, happy productivity involves spending energy in a way that allows for meaningful progress every day. This balanced approach prevents one from becoming a lazy grasshopper or a slave-like businessman. Nietzsche encouraged individuals to discover their passions, become masters of their craft, and create valuable products or services in exchange for a fulfilling life. The story unfolds as a journey through Nietzsche's philosophy. Expose yourself to new experiences, analyze childhood interests, solve problems in areas of passion, turn solutions into valuable products, sell those products, use the profits to improve them, and repeat this process until the end of your life. The path to a happy and productive life is revealed, promising a balance between laziness and slavery, a harmonious existence guided by meaningful progress and the pursuit of your true self.